A couple of days ago, we organized the Mix and Game Jam. This is the first Game Jam made for the channel and it had over 190 submissions and it even made into the list of top past jams on HIO. The theme for this Game Jam was Dimension Change. So the challenge for developers from all around the world was to take inspiration from game mechanics that were made in one dimension and reimagine them in another one. In this video, I want to highlight the most creative and fun submissions from the jam in no particular order. Hike Boy by Duet Davis is a charming 2D game in which you have to hike around to explore the world. The game takes inspiration from climbing mechanics such as the one present in Breath of the Wild and transforms it into the main way of progressing to this top-down game. Your mission is to explore the world and find more stamina to climb higher walls. This encourages exploration and makes players think about the path that they can visit when collecting more stamina. This is a super fun project and I'm really impressed by the scope of the game because it's simple yet very well made. Bomber Dude 3D by Roman This game takes a classic 2D Bomberman explosion mechanic and reimagines it in 3D which adds a lot of verticality to the game. At each level, the challenge is to figure out how to use the bombs to reach out the main goal, and the developer did a great job of creating interesting puzzles using this single mechanic. I think this is a very fun game with visuals that are very pleasant to look at. Glue It by Mechaspear Studios The developer was inspired by the glue cannon from the game Prey to build this 2D platformer. While using the glue gun, the player must create new platforms in order to reach the end of each level. This game turned out great, and it's super fun to play. I also really enjoyed the minimalistic art style, it really makes the game stand out. Keeping the mechanic simple allowed the developer to create a ton of levels for users to play. Nice job. Super Hexahedron by Vector Fold this game takes the energetic gameplay from Super Hexagon and puts it on a new dimension. This entry did a great job of keeping the core mechanic from the original game while still giving it a brand new look and feel. The objective here is to move on a 3D maze while looking for open areas on the moving polygons. The game has a great level of polish and the music fits very well with the atmosphere. Carlson by Danny. The game Carlson takes inspiration from the slow motion mechanic in Super Hot and turns it into a fun and crazy 2D platform shooter. Time only moves when you move, so the player must use this to their advantage and carefully plan their next actions. Aiming while jumping in slow motion feels amazing. I really enjoyed this entry and I especially like the character's animations. Great job on that. Really 3D Chess by Loverdrive This was a very unexpected entry, but I was super happy to see that this developer achieved to create chess in 3D. The new dimension creates a whole new layer of strategy to the game and it's really interesting to see the pieces moving in all directions. I really enjoyed the neon aesthetic that was used in this game and I think it really creates a different atmosphere for such a classic game like chess. One Dimensional Arcade by 14 Hour Lunch Break When the theme was announced, I was excited to see people trying things in only one dimension, and One Dimensional Arcade did it in a very charming and funny way. In this game you can experience old classics like Tetris, Breakdown, and Frogger in only 1D. I think the presentation of this game is what really makes it stand out. There's something about this retro feeling and the fun delivery that really makes this a great experience. Meet Cubed by Thomas L. The developer of this game took the cloning mechanic from the swapper and turned it into a clever isometric puzzle game where you can play as a meat cube that can create clones of itself and use them to open doors. This mechanic works really well with the puzzle genre and like other games in the jam, its simplicity allowed the developer to spend more time designing interesting levels.
Tall Child by Akade. This 2D endless runner was inspired by the uproot enemy ability from Mario Odyssey. The game character can basically stretch its legs and jump to avoid the tree trunks. I really like the way this was implemented and I think the pixel art looks pretty good. I can really see how this game could expand by doing things like zooming the camera dynamically depending on the environment. The Mansion Cutter by J. Fran Mora. This game took the theme of the gem and made it literally about dimension change, and I thought that was awesome. In Dimension Cutter, you can solve from the 2D to 3D view to change the plane in which your character moves. This allows for some really creative level design, and the game can get quite challenging. I think the developer was really creative with the use of the theme, and this is one of the things I enjoyed most about this game. And that covers some of the entries I wanted to highlight, but it doesn't stop there. There is a lot more to check out in the Game Jam page. Just follow the link in the description to play all of the submissions for this jam. One thing that is super impressive is that a lot of these submissions are from developers that never joined a Game Jam or tried finishing a game before. This is really what Game Jams are for, and as long as you're learning and having fun, it doesn't matter your level of skill. So congratulations to everyone. And to all of you that joined and played the games, thank you so much. I had a lot of fun and learned a lot about organizing game jams. So hopefully the next ones will be bigger and better. I'm currently working on my next Mix and Jam episodes and some brand new collaborations with some amazing people. So I hope that you are looking forward to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.